guidelines on the control of chemicals hazardous to health 2001. About this guidelines, to explain how to comply with the Occupational Safety and Health Regulations 2000. To control chemical hazardous to health. Control measures under Regulation 15. 1. Elimination of hazard or risk. When the use of a hazardous chemical in a process or a work activity is not essential, the hazardous chemical should be eliminated wherever practicable. For example using physical process instead of chemical process for cleaning. 2. Substitution. Substituting a hazardous chemical with a less hazardous one, or using the same chemical in a less hazardous form. Substitutions are done due to problem with safe limits. The traditional control methods of prevention are not sufficient. 3. Isolation. Involves removing the sources of hazard exposure from the worker's environment. Isolation can be achieved by enclosing the source with physical barrier, removal and storage of the materials in separate location, placing the source in another location where workers unlikely to contact with Automating the process to operate within closed system or use of barrier to prevent exposure. 4. Engineering controls. Plant process and equipment that can minimize the generation of hazardous substances. Limit the area of contamination in the event of spills or leaks. 5. Safe work system. Step to safe work system. Access the task, identify the hazards, define safe methods, monitor the system, implement the system. 6. Provision of personal protective equipment, PPE. In protecting the worker from a specific chemical, PPE must be worn properly when working involves chemical. 7. Maintenance of effective control. Maintenance is a must on a regularly scheduled basis for potentially hazardous operation. 8. Local Exhaust Ventilation LEV System LEV is used to remove contaminants that are generated at a local source. 9. Control of Carcinogens Prevention or control of exposure to carcinogens Limitation of quantities of a carcinogen at the place of work 